after this video is posted, nobody should trust Amos Brown again. And if you do, you are an enemy of the black community. Fox News, they, they, they were the first to put this out because Gavin Newsom appeared on Fox News. He appeared on Fox News Digital. So it, it, it appeared like he was just, Fox News had the correct report because he showed up on that program. And then California reparations recommendations have Newsom between rock and a hard place. What are you talking about? The recommendations, they haven't even been complete yet. Gavin Newsom just said that. This is white America and scared white people petrified at the idea of black people getting reparations. So they so they put out this propaganda. And even now, even now that, that this stuff has come come out right here's the facts here's the actual news report of gavin newsom and his office updating and clarifying our top story here at six o'clock the office of governor gavin newsom providing some clarification tonight after his team issued a statement that led some to conclude that he is opposed to cash payments as a form of reparations for descendants of black american slaves our capital correspondent Aton wallace joins us with that and how members of the california reparations task force are responding. Well, the governor's spokesperson says some people were too quick to conclude just where the governor stands on cash payments. And now his office stresses it could be quite some time until he makes a final decision on this matter at all. The reparations. It's been just days since the California Reparations Task Force voted in favor of this 500-page document filled with recommendations for the legislature and governor to consider over how reparations should work for descendants of black slaves and those in the black community who've experienced racism and wrongs. While the task force did not come to a conclusion over how much reparations could cost the state as a whole, the recommendation report calls on the legislature to consider what are described as down payments to go to descendants of anyone who is a black American slave, as well as those in the black community whose ancestors arrived before 1900. If descendants meet a certain criteria for the wrongs they've endured, coupled with the amount of time they've lived in California, they could be eligible for up to $1.2 million. But overnight, Governor Gavin Newsom's chief communication advisor Anthony York issued a statement that some felt could indicate the governor does not support cash payouts as a form of reparations. For the statement, reparations are, quote, about much more than cash payments. Many of the recommendations put forward by the task force are critical action items we've already been hard at work addressing, breaking down barriers to vote, bolstering resources to address hate, enacting sweeping law enforcement and justice reforms to build trust and safety, strengthening economic mobility, all while investing billions to root out disparities and improve equity in housing, education, health care, and well beyond. This work must continue. During a phone call with York, he provided clarification, noting Newsom is not ruling anything out at this time, adding the governor wants to wait for the report in its entirety to arrive on his desk before he makes any decision. The matter, per York, will only be resolved after Newsom meets with legislative leaders in the coming months, if not longer. Gardena Senator Steve Bradford is a member of the Reparations Task Force and Vice Chair of the Legislative Black Caucus. As far as the governor's statement, I, I think he's setting a real, realistic expectation that there probably won't be check payments in the tune of or the amount that we've all heard bannered around for the last two years uh, since we started this process. Again, I've tried to temper people's expectations that it might not be a check. And at many of the hearings, people say, where's my check? I mean, again, if you understand the original commitment, it was 40 acres and a mule. Do you see those sand boys right there? You see this right here? All this shucking and jiving here? See, that's why the cash payments have been held up. People like this guy, Democrat. Well, the original payment was 40 acres and a mule. You gonna get them black folks 40 acres? No. Cash payments. He said, well, well we, people have to, might have to temper people's expectations. But do you see what, it, you, see, you see what's happening here, right? Cash payments is coming. They're trying to talk us out of it. Do you see the strategy here? Democrats on one end, they're trying to say, well, the original promise, it was 40 acres and a mule. But every Every other community has gotten paid up, right? Do we ever get 40 acres in a mule? No. So now you got to pay us the equivalent. That's how this works. So Republicans on one end, they lie and gaslight and put out propaganda. Democrats on the other end, they try to gaslight us out of wanting what we should get. Our chips. Good cop, bad cop. So on one end, you got to so-called clarify the statement of, well, that might not be cash payments. Hey, 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 it might not be cash. That might... There will be cash payments. Oh, yes, there will be. Misdirection, gaslighting. About money. He points out the recommendations report includes more than just proposed payments. It also demands an apology from the state of California for what the report labels as racist historic wrongs. Still, if payments are considered, fellow task force member Dr. Amos C. Brown addressed concerns that California would not be able to afford it. No 
good reason. Here, do you see what's happening here? The bootlicks, the old ones, the old black folks who are put in place to keep the younger folks in check. Dr. Amos Brown, right? This guy here is the president of the San Francisco branch of the NAACP. This guy opposed cash rep cash reparations in, in the first place, right? So I, I want you to see this bootleg. So Dr. Amos Brown sets the record straight. Here is a press release on Twitter, right? Reverend Amos Brown, he says here that he's gonna set the record straight. I support direct cash payments for reparations, but number needs to be realistic. I support cash payments. He says, I support cash payments. Now let's go back to here to what he says here now. I want I want to go back here. He says he supports cash payments. Now, Ann Brown from Over Them Nation, she reached out to her and she actually, and she actually talked to him personally. Now, she put out a tweet, she says, um, we just spoke with Dr. Amos Brown to clarify the S in AACP press release. One, he is not against direct cash payments, but wants that and more. Two, he doesn't want to set black Americans up for failure and says we need more realistic proposals. Five million is an unrealistic number. He thinks five million for the wrongs that was done to us is unrealistic. That's what this old man thinks, right? So I want to go back to this. He's on the reparations task force. Listen to this. Remember Dr. Amos C. Brown addressed concerns that California would not be able to afford it. No good reason for them to come up with their excuse. Oh, we have a deficit. We're not asking for any handout. We're looking at asking for a hand up and correcting that evil that was done. Getting our chips, us getting reparations is too expensive. He just said it's too expensive. Now, I want you to see this again, but then months ago when he was getting all that heat, originally Amos Brown, this guy is the president of the San Francisco branch of the NAACP, he opposed cash payments. And then when he came out and said that, the NAACP and the San Francisco branch and Amos Brown himself caught a lot of heat. So then he put out a clarifying statement saying, hey, the SF NAACP clarifies by statement on $5 million payouts. Reparations should be cash payments plus investments. The San Francisco branch of the NAACP is engaged in a public information blitz to clarify a press release it sent out urging the, the San Francisco city government to reject a proposal to pay each qualifying black city resident a one-time lump sum reparation payment of $5 million. So his original statement was against the cash payouts. And he puts out a clarifying statement that says, okay, so it should be cash plus more. After this video is posted, nobody should trust Amos Brown again. And if you do, you are an enemy of the black community. Gardena Senator Steve Bradford is a member of the Reparations Task Force and Vice Chair of the Legislative Black Caucus. As far as the governor's statement, I, I think he's setting a real, realistic expectation that there probably won't be check payments in the tune of our... The, the, this, this guy is over the Congressional Black Caucus. It's not, not, not over, but, but he's a part of the Congressional Black Caucus. Amos Brown is the president of the San Francisco branch of the NAACP, and they're both talking against cash payments that most of the Reparations Task Force voted for. And yet these two who are a part of, of so-called historical black institutions, backbones of the black community that some people think they are, they are the ones speaking out against cash payments. Don't you find that weird, black folks? You remember how they, how they infiltrated the black Panthers. There's Black Panthers right here in Washington State who are actually white. Infiltration black folks can happen anywhere. This man is a senator, a politician. You don't think he can, he can be bought and paid for? You don't think politicians are for sale? You don't think politicians from any side of the aisle are for sale? Do you realize there is a system of white supremacy where people will pay black politicians to shuck and jive and keep you down and keep you on a treadmill, people like this man, if he cares so much about black folks as a, as a politician, why in the world are black folks find themselves in the condition that they do in his area and around California? Do you think he is rejecting cash payments of tax, of freaking tax dollars for a salary? Of course he's not. So so the way he sees it, the way old bootlicks like this see it, I got mine. Because if the black folks come up, do you understand what would happen to guys like this? There'd be no need for them. There'd be no need for them. This is a lesson, black folks.